It's college baseball tonight from Baumwalker Stadium in Fayetteville. The Razorbacks, fresh off a serious win at Ole Miss, welcome in the Golden Lions from Arkansas Pine Bluff for the first of two. Here, Mayla Bolden making the start tonight. Yeah, he's a guy that Dave Van Horn would really like to get back on track. When Bolden's on, there's a lot of run down and into hitters and a good tight slide. Sanders umpires at third. There's a flare headed to left field, a diving effort by White. He can't make the play. And that's a base hit for Braylon Hentz. Here's Humberto Maldonado, and he's going to line one into right for a base hit. Hentz is going to make it to third easily. Maldonado the base hit. Ball gets away on the relay, and there's Golden Lions on the corner. Maldonado just takes off. Bolden will flip one, and Battles is going to try and get Maldonado in a rundown. The out will be recorded. That's costly. Hentz had to stay at third, but now there's two outs. Strike count to Kreitzer. Hard up the middle. There is Battles behind the bag at second. He will throw out Kreitzer to end the inning. So the Golden Lions get a couple of bases. They're not going to get beat by the fastball. Moore off his hands will flutter one out to right center field. It'll drop for a base hit. I think there's a prime example of that approach. Arkansas did not get cheated as far as hits, but they had a lot of traffic. That ball smashed to left field off the bat of Franklin over the head of Higgins. It's going to go to the fence. Moore will go to third base, and he is going to get a late stop sign as the relay is handled. And there's runners at second and third. Nobody out. Higgins been playing deeper. Brady Slavens will hit a pop-up in a very shallow center. Backpedaling is the shortstop leech. Moore is going to tag. He's going to try and score, and he will. A sacrifice pop-up to the shortstop leech. And a heads-up base running decision by Moore. Once he saw the shortstop Leach start to backpedal at the end, and he gets Slavens an RBI instead of an out. Yeah, don't you know Brady Slavens is thanking Robert Moore for that play. Really heads up when the momentum is carrying the infielder away from the plate. That's a ball the center fielder needs to take. All his momentum's coming in. Much better chance to have a stronger throw. felt nervous, but. There's a ball to right field for a base hit off the bat of Bates. Franklin will turn third and score. Arkansas has played it a couple of runs here in the bottom of the first inning. Players so that you can play games. That ball's hit well to center. Dropping in front of Franklin on a couple of hops. So Dante Leach has a single. That's the third hit for the line. Out an entire weekend. There's a chopper up the middle. Battles is going to flip to Moore. And that'll be a double play. But it's one of those years, Troy, we know life isn't fair, right? It really is. And tough break right there after the base hit by the goal. That have been geared up for SEC pitchers. Some fits. There's a roller up the middle. Nice play by the shortstop Leach. And his throw to first is late, so Nesbitt will get the infield base hit. And that's the fourth hit for the Hawks. Just so exciting, these midweek games to play some of these kids. There's a chopper to third under the glove of Maldonado. Zach White's got himself a base hit. Back to back singles by Nesbitt and then White. Vice fly to short. There's a dribbler to first. Kreitzer. Has to turn and flip to Barker, covering in time to get it out. He was he was looking at options everywhere, <laughs> and then took the easy Back one in the first. Sends one into center for a base hit. May score a pair. Nesbitt's home. White will score. Christian Franklin with two more RBIs, and the Hawks lead four to nothing. Not scored on a home run by Casey Higgins. It's going to rip and miss. Down on strikes here. And he shoots one down the third base line. That one is fair. Maybe extra bases for Hentz. Racing towards second, he will go in sliding with the double. Nice pitch for strike three. This is the ball and frames pitches, but I tell you, Dylan Leach looks really good. That one is spanked a rather deep left center field. This ball back near the fence. White reaching can't make the play. And Martin, who struck out in the second, hit one to the fence for a double here, and that's worthy of a smile as well. More pressure on guys like Kevin Copps to come in instead of throwing an inning, come in and throw three. That's a wave and a miss. Six strikeouts for both. Day off. But most of the pitches will come from the dugout. There is the first walk. Here's Rishik. Off and running as Higgins. See if he can throw. Leach's toss will bounce, and that's a stolen base. And that's the one thing this Pine Bluff team Short and third. Off and running is Higgins. That ball will drop into right field. Higgins will turn third and score. He never stopped. And Pine Bluff is on the board. It's a 4-1 game. First RBI. 
And that one is shot into left field for a base hit. Rishik was holding, didn't want to run into a third out, so he doesn't score. The throw's way off line from White. That's a good shot by Leach to go secure that baseball. In scoring position, and the payoff pitch. Wave it a miss. Bolden shows some emotion, Troy, as he gets strikeout number nine to win the inning. Yeah, a little frustration from Taylor. Taylor. Zach Morris. Yeah, one of the guys that Dave Van Horn and Matt Hobbs have really liked out of the bullpen. Very consistent this year so far. Good strike thrower, good velocity. One of those losses came in that doubleheader at Old Miss. That's a rip and a miss, so Kreitz are disposed of quickly. He's already been in the military. Here's the one, two. Rip and a miss. That's two perfect innings with four strikeouts for Zach Morris. Strike, and we saw that quite a bit. Saw it a lot. There's a base hit in left field by Nesbitt. Arkansas's first hit since the second inning. And obviously you get 11,000. Freezer back assistant has really got the balls rolling, and Zach White getting hit by the second time. He's a guy that doesn't get a lot of playing time, and he's like, just throw me something over the plate. And the payoff pitch is up and out, and that is ball four. So the Razorbacks have loaded up the bases on just one single here in the seventh inning. Pitch from Horn. Down and out, ball four. So Franklin has his third RBI of the game, and the Hawks have that four-run lead back as Nesbitt comes across. Slavin's homer in the last home game. Drives that a mile straight up the shoot to Rishik in center. This will score a run. The catch is made. White will tag. He's going to score. Moore is going to tag. He's going to go to third base. And the 6 one Razor backs. Has a lot of lift to that swing. That's going to be a balk. And a run's going to come across. Moore will score. Arkansas has plated three runs this inning on one single. And walks, and sack flies to shortstop, and a base hit from Charlie Welch, eight to one Arkansas. First hit and four at bats for Welch. Franklin comes across again. Oklahoma. Hey, that experience is is really really valuable. Bates at first, four runs in the bank. There's a chopper towards short, not hit hard enough for a double play. Close at second, but out is Bates. Leach just about played that into a. Hey, Leach might be able to retire Leach. Dante didn't get Dylan, and another run will score. Well, messed up our storyline, also messed up the inning because Welch scores the fifth run of the frame. A little cue shot by Dylan Leach. This is Gabriel Starks, Pine Bluff native. He's going to go against a former high school teammate right off the shoot here in this inning. We got a Watson chances to pitch. Needs a strike here and he doesn't get one. So Hens able to work the walk of the zone. Back to back walks to the top two hitters in the Golden Lions lineup. Gets the wave and a miss. Rip and a miss. I guess that's why he didn't. In the case of fastball for strike three. Way in, almost clipped the jersey, didn't matter, and the bases are low. Long pause between pitches. Hit out to right center field. On the move is Bates, and he can't get it. This is going to go to the fence, and Leach might have a chance to get an easy three and more. He's going to go to third base with a stand-up three-run triple. Gifts. All four. This is not an easy play for Nesbitt. Funny spin on that ball, but he'll calmly secure it, and it is going to be an out. Slavin's dropped it on the exchange, says Brandon Meissen at first base, so that is an out. And that is ball four. White's on again. This entire weekend. Payoff pitches outside, so a couple of walks to begin this racer back eighth inning. Nobody out in the eighth inning. That ball lifted to right. It starts to travel, and it's going to go off the building. A three-run Oppo home run from Christian Franklin. And Franklin has a six RBI night. And he's only a triple shy of the cycle. Well, that's when you know Christian Franklin's locked in is when he really drives that baseball to the opposite field again. When he stepped on campus as a true freshman, that's where his power was, was to the opposite field. And when he hit that baseball, that's not even a strike. That thing is down at his shoe tops. I think that he hit the building or the light tower. Either one has got a good ricochet, maybe off of both. 
they've got the bill. Here's Heston Toll. We saw him come on and throw a six pitch, perfect ninth inning last Wednesday against Little Rock. Slider's off balance and he snapped that slider off. Mm. Where you hit a guy in the middle of the back. And Higgins will wear that as they're locked in. <laughs> There's a wave and a miss, but. Hit him in the foot. Another one. Got time. Buying a double play. Wave and a miss. Now I better hurry. Golden Lions down to their final strike, and that's the game. Razorbacks win their 27th of the season. Wasn't exactly a masterpiece tonight, but they take down Arkansas Pine Bluff 12 to 4. Yeah, just a good, good outing for Arkansas again. Just have to clean a few things up. Some walks by the pitchers and just kind of a little bit of lack of focus, but Arkansas gets the win.